Our top story, at least three CRPF personnel were killed and eight others were injured in a landmine explosion in Aurangabad in Bihar on Monday. Among those killed was a deputy commandant of the CRPF, Indrajit. What we're about to show you is disturbing to say the least. It's Indrajit's heart-wrenching appeal for help to save him while he was being treated at a hospital in Aurangabad. Though he was airlifted to Ranchi, he succumbed to injuries there as the help came too late. मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि मेरे पास कोई डॉक्टर नहीं है दो घंटा हो गया जी सर और कोई हेलीकॉप्टर नहीं आया मेरा डीजी के बताओ नहीं तो मैं मर जाऊँगा मेरा छोटा छोटा बच्चा है मैं मर जाऊँगा भाई दो घंटा हो गया कोई हेलीकॉप्टर के सुविधा नहीं है पूरा ब्लड मेरे शरीर से निकल गया और मैं पाँच दस मिनट में मर जाऊँगा भाई मेरे बचा लो मेरे को मैं प्रधानमंत्री राष्ट्रपति सब से बता रहा हूँ गृह मंत्री से मेरे को बचा लो भाई मेरा डी जी बचा लो मेरा छोटा छोटा बच्चा है रे भाई कोई डॉक्टर दो घंटा से मेरे पास नहीं आया है मैं चिल्ला रहा हूँ सुबह ऑपरेशन करके कोबरा की टीम लौट रही थी और साथ ही सी एस पी बलवाई कैंप की भी टीम थी तो बरंडा मोड़ जो रिवा थाना में पड़ता है उससे कुछ दूरी पे एक आईडी लोकेट हुआ था और वो आईडी को हम लोग लोकेट करने के बाद उसका शायद उसमें मैकेजम था क्या मैकेजम टाइमर था या क्या था वो ब्लास्ट हुआ उसे ब्लास्ट में दस लोग घायल हुए थे जिसमें दो लोग शहीद हुए हैं बाकी well, Rohit Singh is joining us on the phone line on this very, very disturbing story. Rohit, uh, we heard the deputy commandant there who breathed his last in the absence of adequate medical facilities uh, in a hospital to which he was taken. Uh, no first aid, perhaps nothing to check the blood loss, which actually resulted in his death. What are we hearing from officials and what seems to be complete apathy as far as dealing with such cases is concerned? Well, Lucy, it's an absolute tragedy that has happened in Aurangabad, especially with this uh, CRPF deputy commandant on camera making pleas to the president and the prime minister to save his life. Because we know that this incident happened at around 2:30 uh, last afternoon when this uh, when the CRPF team along with the Bihar police team was combing that entire area just ahead of election that is scheduled for 10th of April, and when they found this uh, landmine and uh, landmine. And when they were trying to defuse it, this uh, went off, and obviously uh, three, pe three people died in this, and eight of them were injured. And they, from there, in a mini bus, all these injured and the dead body was moved to Aurangabad Sadar Hospital. And there also, the hospital was not equipped enough to handle the case because there was utter chaos at the hospital, seeing so many injured people coming there, and also the dead bodies. And that is why, and that is when the uh, this Indrajit Kumar Singh was also pleading for help. And no help uh, was coming to him for at least two hours. A lot of blood was oozing from his body. And then uh, from Rachi, the, at around 5.30 in the evening, a uh, topper was flown in. And from there, he was airlifted from Aurangabad and taken to Rachi Apollo Hospital, where he succumbed to uh, his injuries. So absolute tragic story that there was delay, so much of delay that took place. He could not get proper uh, medical attention at that point of time. No first aid. And, uh, and this incident happened. All right, uh, just to put things in perspective, Rohit, I'd like to know from you where exactly was this recorded, where you can hear the officer making a fervent appeal to all officials asking for help. Where was this recorded and why was there no first aid available at the hospital, wherever he was, uh, to check something as simple as blood loss? Just as I told you, this incident happened uh, in Aurangabad, the Dibra police station at around 2.30 in the afternoon. <clears throat> and from there, uh, in, a, in a mini bus, the injured people along uh, and the three uh, dead uh, bodies, in fact, two dead bodies at that point of time, they were moved to, uh, to Aurangabad, the uh, other hospital. And at that point of time, there was not much help that was coming from the hospital. There were doctors and nurses at the, at the hospital, but they were not equipped enough to handle such a uh, big uh, crisis. And we also know that a uh, lot of blood was oozing out from Indrajit Kumar Singh's body and he needed uh, blood replacement immediately and there was also no, no blood available at that point of time. And that is why he has succumbed to his injuries. And this is why, in fact, he was speaking to the media at around 4 in the afternoon. So there was a delay of two hours uh, that took place in Aurangabad itself. And at later, only at 5.30, a uh, chopper was flown in from Rachi to Aurangabad. And then he, he was airlifted from the Southern Hospital and then taken to Rashi's Apollo Hospital. But uh, unfortunately, he succumbed to his injuries. 
Well, it'll certainly lead to questions had the medical help reached him in time. Could his life been saved? Uh, thank you very much, Rohit, for joining us with your inputs. Javan there pleading for help before he succumbed to his injuries in the absence of any adequate medical help. We also spoke to DGBSF, in fact, former DGBSF Prakash Singh a little while earlier on this report. Um. The, the problem is that in Bihar, the state government uh, has been very lackadaisical in its approach to the Naxal problem. And uh, we are aware of the fact that last year the Home Secretary Government of India wrote a stinking letter to the uh, government of Bihar that they were not doing enough on the anti-Naxal front. And then we have a very high-level uh, intelligence body known as GIC, Joint Intelligence Committee, which is probably headed by the Cabinet Secretary. They also wrote a letter to uh, the government of Bihar uh, for being very soft on the Naxals, and they even said that Bihar was acting as a bridgehead between the Maoists in Nepal and the Maoists in India. Uh, so the government of India uh, has been from time to time conveying its displeasure and, and happiness with the Nitish Kumar government for its very soft approach to Naxals. And, uh, uh, but uh, Mr. Nitish Kumar wants to live in his own paradise. He says that I have no magic wand. Uh, to deal with the mouse problem. Uh, the problem is, uh, I mean, the, the, the whole problem is that uh, they are given central paramilitary forces, but they don't make good use of them. And the state police uh, uh, has been very defensive and uh, very, uh, I mean, very soft in, uh, in any action taken against the Naxos.